You gotta be kidding me, Stinky. Los Angeles? Really? Absolutely. Anytime there's a really cool, hard-headed animals in the game, you gotta root for them. Well, now that you mention it, didn't old Zeke tell you that the ram was your spirit guide or animal or something? When it comes to Zeke, there's no telling. But I'm telling you, the rams are gonna... Oh, hey boys. It sounds like you're talking about the Super Bowl tonight. Who are you rooting for? Hey, Grandma. Well, I'm sure New England is winning this one, and that means Stinky's favorite part of the game tonight is going to be the commercials. Oh, man, I love the commercials. Did you see the one about the dog and... Hey, wait a minute. Yep, me and Stinky have been going back and forth over this for a while now, and... We're both of our teams are going to win. We're sure both of our teams are going to win. Well, guys, both of your teams can't win. So, after the game, there's going to be some disappointment, maybe some even resentment if your team doesn't do what you expect them to do. I'm sure Bob is going to know all about that tonight, Grandma. Thank you for preparing him for the worst. Actually, guys... Not only will one of the teams and their fans be disappointed tonight, but being let down has caused disappointment for people since way back when. I don't know, Grandma. When? Last week? Or further back when? Come on, catch up, Stinky. She wasn't asking you a question. I think Grandma meant since a long time ago. Oh, of course she was. So... How far back, Grandma? Like last year? No, Stinky. What I mean is even way back further when Jesus was here. People have suffered disappointment and resentment that even caused riots. Riots? You mean like that rioting and burning of cars? Like when other teams win the World Series or a basketball championship? And, um, Stinky, I don't think they had cars to burn back when Jesus was here. I think what Grandma here is telling us is that even when Jesus was around, things got out of hand sometimes. That's correct, boys. Some people even tried to kill Jesus because he said things that went against them, what everyone believed. Really? Yes, really. Jesus' hometown was so angry, they tried to throw him off a cliff. Wow. Good thing they didn't. That would have really goofed up Good Friday and Easter for us. <laughs> you see, boys, when Jesus first visited his hometown after performing miracles, like carrying people and turning water into wine, that we heard about a couple of weeks ago, his hometown folks expected some big things from Jesus. And they got really angry when Je Jesus mentioned that Gentiles are included in God's promise. Even though Gentiles are people who are not Jewish. The Jews back then really didn't understand that we are all God's children. Not just a lucky few of us. That's great news for all of us. Could you imagine if you were one of the ones left out of God's family? That wouldn't have been a really bad feeling there, Stinky. I bet they would have even felt worse than the Rams are going to feel tonight after the big game. Ha ha, very funny, Bob. Just remember, we're meeting for the game at my house this year. So, who are you pulling for, Grandma? Come on over to the party and pull for the Rams with me. Oh, I don't know, Stinky. I don't think I'm going to pick a side this year. There's going to be a lot of fierce competition. It could get really ugly, and I'm not talking about the game. And let me remind you that there are a lot of Patriots fans here at Rejoice. And if the Rams win tonight, you're going to be the very unpopular here with this disappointed crowd. 